Hey guys, it's me, Snowflake Piggy, and it's Vlogmas Day 23, and today I'm just going to be doing a video talking about my future guinea pig cage plans, and I just vacuumed and cleaned up this room, because this afternoon I cleaned the guinea pig's cage, so it's nice and clean, well, it's kind of dirty now because it's been a few hours, but yeah, and I cleaned the chinchilla's cage too, and I made them a new cage liner, so here's their cage. Here are the twins. I just wanted to talk to you guys about my future cage plans for the guinea pigs because I have a lot of plans for 2014. So, hello, hello pig. Hey, look at you, you're so cute. Okay, so here's their cage. You guys know it is a four by 10 CNC cage with a ramp that goes up to their two by four kitchen area. And right now, I use black grids and connectors for their cage. My plan for their new cage, I'm going to be using white grids and co and connectors because I think the cages with white grids and connectors look so much more cute, I think. And then the second renovation I want to make on their cage is I use, okay, I use multiple colored coroplast. That piece of coroplast is blue. This piece of coroplast is blue. This piece of coroplast is blue. That one's green. And then this upper level coroplast is orange. And so in my new, my ideas for the cage is that I will um, change to white grids and connectors and also change the core blast to all white. So like this, so the CNC part of the cage, which is the cubes and core blast, is going to be all white because I think it'll look much cuter. You're so cute. Chance is going down. Where is he? There he is. So the last change I'm thinking about making to the cage, well, I'm definitely going to do this one. And this is the only, like, practical one, like, where I actually have reasoning behind as to why I want to do it other than, like, the look of it. So as you guys can see, they have a 2 by, two by 4 kitchen area. Um, where they have to run up this ramp to get to their food. Oh, if you're wondering why they don't have pellets yet, it's because they already ate their breakfast pellets. They don't get pellets till later in the evening today. But they do get pellets, so don't worry about that. Tyler and Jojo are both four, and Pudge and Chance are turning three, four. They're three right now, and they're turning four in February. So they're getting older, and I can, I, I feel like I want to be more um, careful about their joints and stuff. So I was thinking about like removing the ramp, removing the stands, taking this 2x4 and putting it on the floor just like and connect it to this. So they'll have a 4x12 CNC cage instead of a 4x10 with a 2x4 upper level. That's, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be doing that because I already see Tyler especially having to put so much effort in running up the ramp. So this way they'll still be getting exercise, they just won't, it won't be so hard on their joints. So yeah, those are the three things, big things I think I'm going to do to their cage layout. And then I also plan on making more cage liners, more beds and cozies for them because I don't think they have enough, do they? Look at how cute they are, so cute. What's Chance doing? Pig, what are you doing? Huh? Oh, he's waiting in line for the water. Oh, it's so cute. Even though it's two water bottles. Um, Whatever. Very polite. Very polite, pigs. Hi, Jojo. Hi, pig. Oh, 
Oh, another thing is I want to get wall clings or window clings, um, sticker things so I can decorate them more and I can change it whenever I want and stuff. Because, yeah. Jojo and Pudge. So cute. They already pooed a ton. Oh, he's got an itch. She gets his thirsty over there. But yeah, so basically that is my plans for the cage. However, I would order the grids and chloroplast off of guineapigzone.com. I highly recommend it. The chloroplast comes cut and everything. So I will link that in the description box if I remember. Hopefully I do. Um, but yeah, so everything, all the chloroplast that I have right now is bought off of guineapigzone.com however I bought my own grids from Bed Bath & Beyond but I would order both grids and chloroplast so sorry about that you guys my memory card cut off because I didn't have enough room but basically what I was just trying to say is that I calculated what the grids and chloroplast and white would be like as a total to make a 4x12 CNC cage and um, the total of everything for that would be over $300. I forget, it might have been like $350 or something. I don't really remember, but I just remember it was in the 300s. So it'll probably take me a while to actually execute my plans. But my goal is to get that all done in 2014. Hopefully more towards like the beginning half of 2014. So I can just enjoy it for the rest. Um, but yeah, that is my future cage plans for the guinea pigs. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any suggestions for my new cage, you can leave it all down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!